Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have missed you. I have missed sharing new videos. Yes, you you have noticed that in the last two weeks, I've been um, the number of videos I've been you know um, uploading had reduced. But then we can blame the holidays for that. <laughs> Okay then, so um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel within this last, um, you know, within the past week. I remember that, um, was it on Tuesday? I, you know, I was celebrating 67 subscribers and between Tuesday and now, I have moved to over 100. <laughs> so it feels very good. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, learning everything that, of course, you're learning. Well, I'm sharing your learning, but it feels really good to, you know, belong to something like this. Um, it's been a good year. It's been a, an interesting 2020, 2020, I should say. But then the best part is, even as the year is ending, a lot of people are preparing for the IELTS test already. You find that um, people have picked dates in January. I think I saw somebody pick 9th of January. A lot of people have picked in February as well. So it means that... Um, 2020 is ending, yes, but IELTS preparation is not taking a break, okay? People are people are chasing their dreams, and so it's okay if you still um, need to prepare, you still need to write your essays, you still need to do a lot of things. Just take your time, no pressure. It's important that you're ready for the test before you take it. Now, what are we going to be looking at today? Okay, so based on my experience within this past week, um, I think it's important to talk about the IELTS writing and the confusions that come with it. Now, what do I mean by confusions? I did some review, some IELTS writing review for certain people on some of the Facebook group, um, groups that I belong to. And I realized that a common problem that people have is understanding the question. Okay, understanding the question. Many people struggle with writing their essays mainly because they struggle with understanding the question and so you want to ask yourself do i know what the question is saying do i understand what the question is asking me because if you do not understand the question you cannot write correctly okay let me show you this question this is book 15 ielts book 15 um and i'm on page 52 okay let me read it to you it says um this is task two okay Nowadays, many people complain that they have difficulties getting enough sleep. What problems can lack of sleep cause? That's the first question. And the second question, what can be done about the lack of sleep? Okay, so did you get it? It says nowadays, many people complain that they have difficulties getting enough sleep. So it's a case of Mr. A and Mr. B and Mrs. A and Mrs. C are saying that they are not sleeping well difficulties getting enough sleep okay so it could be a case of they're not sleeping well but they're not getting enough hours of sleep now before you attempt this question before you begin to write why don't look at it what is the question saying to me so i've just tried to explain it they are not getting enough sleep so maybe people should be sleeping for eight hours as science says but then you find that people are sleeping for four hours we know that in places like Lagos, this is Nigeria. <laughs> so, you know, in places like Lagos, people get home maybe around 11 p.m. Sometimes it can be later than that. And then many people have to be out of their houses, like out of bed, let's say around 3, 4. You need to be out of the house around 5, you know, if you're going by public transport. So, come on, calculate how many hours. That's 12, 1, 2, 3. That's barely 5 hours, 4 hours of sleep. Okay? So, you know, with that understanding, now move on to the question, what you're meant to do. The first part says, what problems can lack of sleep cause? So it's a case of, if I don't sleep well, what can happen to me? It's possible that um, I won't deliver at work. It's also possible that I'll become stressed and I'll fall sick. Do you, do you see what I'm doing? I'm making the question personal. I'm trying to understand it from my own world, my own reality, okay? That's how you understand the question. And then the second part says, what can be done about lack of sleep? So it's like, okay, so what's the solution? Okay, so would it be moving to a place, a location closer to where your workplace is? Would it be um, maybe taking some like leave or something? Or can it even be a case of um, just making sure that you get home early 
And even if it is not work related, maybe you spend some more time, you know, watching TV late into the night, or maybe it's even related to health issues. You know, you can consult medical professionals. What do you think I just did? I tried to personalize the question so that I can understand it. Can I beg you about something? <laughs> Don't start writing unless you understand the question. It's important. And that's why they say that for the writing tax too, you have 40 minutes. Honestly, spend the first 10 minutes thinking, understanding the question, getting your point. As soon as you're through with the 10 minutes, spend the next 20 minutes writing. I can assure you that all you'll be doing is building up the points you already had, more like forming sentences out of few words that you previously had. And in the final 10 minutes, all you would do is proofread your writing. I decided to address this because <laughs> I gave some writing reviews and most of those essays were basically, how do I say it? Like off point, <laughs> okay? So it was a case of people didn't really get it. You're not really getting the question. And if you're not getting the question, it's gonna be difficult for you to actually, you know, score eye points at the level of each criterion. You know, the four of them, the task response, the lexical resource, coherence and cohesion, and then finally, grammatical range and accuracy. So I decided to consider this today so that um, if you're struggling with writing your essays, you can take some steps back to say, first of all, do I understand the question? And did I say that this question I just looked at is a double question or a direct question essay? So it means there are two parts of parts to it. So you have your introduction where you paraphrase, you have your um, body paragraph one, where you talk about the things that lack of sleep can cause. You have body paragraph two, where you talk about how to fix lack of sleep. And then you have your conclusion where you paraphrase what you've written. So that's it for me today. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it brief so that you don't have to spend some more time listening and all of that, but I'm sure you're learning nonetheless. Once again, I wish you a wonderful new year. It's been wonderful with you this year. And I hope that, you know, in the new year, we'll have many more wonderful things to share with each other. Once again, my name is Adenike Babalola. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.